Hello and welcome to my new video. Today I'm going to be having a look at doing some water slide decals using some micro set and micro sol. So the tools to help do this is the, the micro set, the micro sol, some tweezers, toothpick and a brush. Doesn't matter what you use for a brush, I've just got a Citadel one from, from my collection. Okay, so I'm going to be applying these transfers here onto the parts there. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is just pop this transfer into the water and then we'll just get some micro set on the brush and then just brush over the area where the water slide is going to go. Just makes it a little bit easier just to apply the water slide. Okay. So it's usually about about 30 seconds for the for the water slide just to just to separate away from the backing. Should be able to just slide it off. Just put it down there, and then you can just get your toothpick just to help position it just to where you want it to be. Just be careful you don't break the uh, water slide, so just be quite careful. So once you've got it the way you want it to be, just take some micro sol and it'll just help to soften it. It may move around a little bit, so just give it a little bit of a reposition. like that. Sometimes with this, if it's got some little edges where you want it to fold around, I'll just uh, dab it down a little bit. And just give it a, a little bit more micro sol just a little bit just over the sections this time being very very delicate with how you apply it so you don't want too much this time and there you have it one water slide applied and then so just give the brush a quick wipe and then put this to one side so you can let it dry. And now I'm just going to start doing the rest of the water slides onto the knee armour.
Okay, so then once you've got your all ready, just let them all thoroughly dry. And then just screw back up your tops. And there you go, that is the transfers applied. Okay, so here we have them all dried off. So that will just leave the next stage and I'll just go ahead and put a matte top coat over these and then I'll be back to show you how it looks after that. And there we have it. These have all been finished off with a matte top coat. For that I use Mr. Mr. Hobby's Mr. Color UV Cut. And that's just the, it's the normal flat. Just one I've started to use quite a lot recently, and uh, I use the for the gloss coat. I use the uh, same one as well. Uh, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, then uh, please leave a like and subscribe, and you can also follow me on my Instagram at Prometheus underscore Gumpler. Thank you for watching.